Beds, and this is my poem about sofa beds. Sofa beds as a symbol of family piling in for Christmas, as a symbol therefore of love pressed upon you like clean sheets, like endless mugs of tea whether you like it or not. Lying on our fronts watching the Wizard of Oz Singing along to the bits we remember I like it Somewhere over the rainbow There's a sofa bed with your name on it There's a person waiting to turn their lounge into a bedroom for you To make their home yours for the night So that there's no place quite like it Sofa beds as passing out at your mate's house at 4am you're at peace as the party grinds on. Sofa beds as when you come to visit us, our flat might be tiny, but there's always, always space. We all know sofa beds with metal frames that have to be wrestled with, that produce cheers when we defeat them, when we finally wrangle them back. Sofa beds pulled out to house your siblings' kids, tucked up with a Pixar film as we move into the kitchen, as we keep on drinking, as we add more dead soldiers to the ever-overflowing recycling bin. Sofa beds for those who don't have homes to go to, who live on them with Asda bags for life, full of the tatty scraps of life. Sofa beds as real beds, as fold out necessities. Sofa beds as, I know it's been a shit breakup, so please stay with us for as long as you need. Sofa beds bought by people who know they'll have guests around. Tiny city flats turned into makeshift B&Bs. Sofa beds I've slept on and met new friends on gigs in Bristol, hen nights in Swansea. That time I crashed out on a promoter's sofa bed in rugby. Think about a sofa bed you know. Whether proud and new for visitors or rescued from the roadside. Tired, scruffy, scratched. And raise a glass to it. The sofa bed is a symbol of come in. It's a symbol of make do. It's a symbol of love you. Thanks. Thank you very much.